Hello, everyone, and fellow ghoul cats. Thank you for stepping out of your tomb and joining me in Cursed by Disaster Squad Productions. I am Death Chicken. Jazz Chicken is unable to join us today, for he is a little tied up. Right. We left off getting a key, so we're trying to find that we did see a door down this way. So perhaps the key is for this door. It is! And a skull popped out, going bah, 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 bah. It just flew into the ceiling, so I don't know what that was about. Well, in we go. A very blue room. It looks like a sort of journal. You flip through it to find something that catches your eye. Uh, what? What catches my eye? We have created a living space in the depths where we will be close to malice and can raise... Okay, it has been 20 years since the Moonstaff's awakening has brought our lord to this world. Physical illness in his presence as of late. Oh, wait, what? We hope we are... Pl okay, we have created a living space in the depths where we will be close to Malice. Corre what's going on? But it matters not, for if we fall, we will let it rise again to... I don't have time to read! <laughs> okay, whatever. There's, there's stuff happening. I don't have time to read. <laughs> it, it changes out. I think if maybe when you left-click, it, it selects the next bit of text, that would have been perfect. But yes, I, I didn't have time to read. It went too quick. The rundown look of the previous room continues here. It feels like an outlet, but the shape of the holes isn't familiar to you. It's most likely a picture or a painting, but you can't really see it all. Or see at all, okay. It might be the darkness playing mind tricks, but you swear you just saw somebody standing here. Was it the glitch person? Who's behind the curtain? No one. <laughs> ha! Naked lady! Glitch... Glitch people! The toilet is cracked and there's no... Wait! Uh, wait. Glitch person goes to the bath. Oh! Glitch person takes naked lady. Glitch person is killing naked lady. No! Naked lady! <laughs> okay, naked lady's dead. Glitch person comes to me. And I'm dead, okay. <laughs> it's good that you did that, because I was like, okay, what happens if I just stand here and wait for it to happen? <laughs> ah, so... Glitch person is come to get... Wait, was that the load file I wanted? I don't know. Ba -bam. I guess we'll flick through the book. Okay. Ah, I just saw him there. I just saw him. <laughs> for a second, I saw the person there. And it's constant teachers draw us to him every day. We will be close to Mass and we can raise others to follow in his wake. We hope we are pleasing our master in this practice as many have fallen to the mental and physical illness in the presence as of late. But it matters not for if we fall and let rise again to further serve his needs for all eternity. Soon all will... Okay. It's most likely a picture or a painting, but you can't really see it all. Okay, so I'll go in here. I won't open the curtain. It's hard to see into this dusty mirror clearly, but you look like hell. Pipes are clogged or rusted solid because the sink isn't working. You can hear it trying. Toilet is cracked and there's no water inside. You don't really feel like sitting on it anyway. Okay, I won't open the curtain. We'll keep Naked Lady alive. <laughs> Spider. Spider goes about his business. Light fixtures are off. It doesn't seem. It doesn't help the atmosphere. This door is locked. You try to force it open, but no luck. Crowbar. These light fixtures are off. Oh, it's because I'm clicking. The light fixture is where the crowbar is. That's why it triggered that text. Okay. There's a light coming from the room on the right. Could someone be inside? Possibly Jennifer's killer? Oh, could the naked lady be Jennifer? And then, but wasn't Jennifer blonde? And the naked lady had black hair. It was a brunette. So I guess Glitchman is the killer. 
You stare into this crystal ball. An image comes swirling into view. Yes, I know exactly where that is. Looks like one of the crystals is smashed on the floor. Did someone break it, or did it simply fall? Stand to the crystal ball. Okay. Stand to the crystal ball. Oh. Hello. My place has never been used, or it was cleansed recently. It's pretty much spotless. There's a ghost here. Spooky ghost. You stand to the crystal ball. Oh, she's standing up now. <laughs> like, do you mind not looking at me? Maybe she's just an extra. <laughs> she's just being paid to lay there. Now that her job's done, she wanted to go home, and then I caught her on the security cameras. <laughs> Staring to the crystal wall. Okay. What if I look again? She's just like, do you mind? I need to go to my trailer. That's bizarre. There's just a picture frame hanging here. There's no trace of anything on it. What about if look here again? Ghost. Nothing. Big butthole. Okay. This fireplace has either never been used or it was cleaned recently. It's pretty much spotless. Ah! 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 Yeah! Ah! Ah, I didn't block in time. You look like a ball sack. I'm just gonna fireball you. I can't seem to time it right. There we go. Haha. Yeah, I feel this is a boss. It's a lot tougher. Ah. Ah. Take it, you big ball sack. I got your pattern down now. I know exactly when to block. Is that fight meant to be that long? I don't, I don't know. I feel like I was missing something. Oh, wait. Uh, one moment, I need to find which save it was. Okay, so it was this save file. We, we just got sent back by a reasonable amount. It's not really that far. All right, so then we do this. You pop out. Now, what if I go over here? No? Okay. I'm not sure what this skull is about, but never mind. 
All right, so we read this. Blah, 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 blah. Yep, 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 yep. I can't skip it. Okay, fine. Right, so what if we allow naked lady to have her shower? Man kills naked lady. And then we leave. Now what happens if I go back in? Ah, it just resets the, uh, the visions. Yes, okay. Interesting. Ah, kill a clown. What? <laughs> Spooky clown, okay. He cut his own head off. As you do. Well. Okay. <laughs> Spooky clown! Oh, there was a dude there again. Well, I managed to get up here. Oh, there's a hole! It's like you could fit into this hole and get into the ceiling if you could get up there. Uh, ah, I don't have the ladder. Alright, we need to go get the ladder. Spooky clown keeps going, blah, I'm a spooky clown. All right, where do we put the ladder? Um, where did we put the ladder? Was it in here? No. Oh, I, did I not pick it up when I left the, I don't think I picked it up. Hey, here we go, here it is. Um, just wanna double check I haven't missed anything. We'll do a save here. What? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Go away, spider. Nobody likes you. What? Who was the weird zombie man? <laughs> he came up to give me a kiss or something. Or sell me, like, I don't know. I don't know. He just wanted to see how I was doing, I guess. I hit him. I did attack him. He died with one hit. It was very odd. <laughs> yeah, don't mind. <laughs> don't don't mind Bill. <laughs> he was just desperate for the toilet. All right, thank you, Skelly Bob. All right, back. Let's head back over here. That's <laughs> very random but funny. Uh, funny kind of jump scary moments. All right, is the clown going to be there again? Okay, no, the clown's not there this time. Right, so in there was the boss creature that we can't kill. Here the door's locked, but there's a hole. So we go up the hole. Ah, the kid's room, and there's something in the closet. Bits of wood and a trail of dried blood lead into the closet. What the hell is going on? My god, what could have taken place here? This crib is basically decimated, not decremated, uh, beyond repair. This mobile hanging above the crib does little to make you feel like this place is child-friendly. Wish this lamp was working right now, but it looks pretty trashed. Hope to find something of use in this drawer, but there's nothing but dust and dead flies. Okay. Was there a family living down here at some point? Or are you just... A Imagining a child's room in here. It's too dark to want to stay and think about it. Well, I guess we open the door. Hello? No? Ah, hello? There's clearly something down there. It's a heavy sledgehammer you decide to take along with you. It's a creepy little dolly. You want nothing to do with it. Some really old smelly shirts hanging here waiting to be worn again. You are too afraid of what you'll find to even look under this small blanket. Ah! I'm dead. <laughs> I kept tree. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I kept clicking the body to just to make the sound <laughs> trigger again and again and again. So it's like. <laughs> 
Okay, so that is a strange zombie that kills you. All right, good to know. Do I have the ladder? I do, okay. Ah, uh, go away, you. Ah, uh, blah, 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 it's a clown. <laughs> Stupid clown. All right, then we... Dolly, you weren't there before. No. I... No. The door stands silently on the floor. I mean, it's... Laying there now. Strange. You you weren't there before. I shovel you. I, I crowbar you. Okay. You best stay there, Dolly. Take the sledgehammer. What if I sledgehammer the body? Nope. If I crowbar the body. Shovel the body. Nope. I'll just I'll just leave the body be then. I won't I won't put him. I saw the the thing. What if I hang around? I keep seeing visions of things. I'll take the ladder, thank you. Uh search under the door. No. Okay. Um Oh I know where to go. I know where to go. I dare not go in there because then I'll get attacked and I'll be in a fight that never ends. Uh, the, the sledgehammer is for this bit. You roll back and with a mighty swing you smash the suspicious bricks into oblivion. Okay. In we go. Aha! This is another fire scroll. Light fixtures are all electric, doesn't really seem to fit the atmosphere. Although it's oppressively small, you are impressed by how much worksmanship went into this hallway. It's a demon wanting to hold boobs. There is a book lying here. You attempt to read the parts that are in English. The Staff of the Moon is our key. It has the power to bring Malice forth, as well as undo him. We must stay vigilant and protect it with our lives, for he fears its misuse. Our job is complete. He has risen. When the Dark Lord's strength returns, the world above will belong to the dead. Okay, awakening demons? Some weird cult? You decide that you need to leave and tell Jennifer's... something. Symbol must be associated with whatever crazy practice went on here. I touched the statue. Large bronze statue of a demon sits quietly with its hands out as if expecting an offering. I give you a crowbar to the face. Shovel. I give you a ladder. That's all you. That's what you want, isn't it? A ladder. <laughs> okay. Doors close brightly, giving the room a warm feel. Has somebody been here lately? All right. So we need to give it something. Like maybe a giant watermelon. Just wants a good old munch. Two nails on the wall. What are they for? All right. Uh. I haven't gained much else. I could go back outside. There wasn't really anything of use in the room with the big demon monster that, you know, would not die. Um, there was nothing else in the hole. The body's gone. What the? What happened to Jennifer's body? Spider, you're ruining it. God damn you, spider. Go away. Go away. Nah, he webbed me. Eh. Right, before we were rudely interrupted. What the? What happened to Jennifer's body? This is becoming too much to take. It's time to go back and tell everyone. Ah, it wants me to go back. Okay. Uh, was there anything else? Not really. So maybe I kill the demon thing another time? I need an item or something? I don't know. Let's go here first. We'll heal up. Glug, glug, glug. 
save the game. Alrighty then. Hey, Skelly Bob. I'll be leaving now. Take care. Bye. Come back soon. I should actually save it here, I guess. Oh, it's a padlock. Oh no, who put this lock here? This wasn't here when you came down. Oh, shovel it. Ah! It's Jennifer. Okay. She kissed me. You're dead. Yeah. So what if I fireball her to the face? Padlock. Wasn't there when you came down. Trouble. Nope. 40 watt something. Come on, Jennifer. There you are. Eh. Two hits. I sliced her head off and a diamond fell out. <laughs> okay. Oh, Jennifer's dead. With your final blow, your sword passes through Jennifer's neck and her head rolls to the floor. Was she even alive? Or well, not anymore. It looks like she was carrying some kind of gemstone. You pick it up. Oh, it didn't it didn't pop out of her neck wound. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe it did. Did nothing. Uh, crowbar the padlock. Okay, it's Jennifer again. Okay, she just left by herself. <laughs> okay. So, uh, see you later, Jennifer. Uh, uh, don't mind me. Now, oh, Jennifer! Oh, I can hit you whilst you're here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. There we go. I'm not kissing you. You don't even have a mouth anymore. Careful, Skelly Bob. Jennifer wants kisses. Oh no, not Jennifer. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, let's see. Ah, go away. You see what I mean? Yeah, I see. She's a bit desperate. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. Let's go here. Save it. Ah! Jennifer's head! Save it again, just in case. I don't get attacked by Jennifer's head. So the body realized it couldn't kiss me, but Jennifer's head was like, but I can kiss you, I've got lips. <laughs> like, leave me alone. I do not consent. Ah, the head again. Bring it on. Two and three. Oh, the longer I look at the head, the more I slowly die. Good to know. So I need to hurry then. Okay. Uh, one? No, wrong one. Wrong one. Two. Okay, right. So we need to hurry and put the gemstone on the thingy. I don't care if there's lots of blood. Let's go, 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 ladder, go up. No, I went the wrong way. Take the ladder, thank you. Uh, down, down. This way, I went the complete wrong direction. <laughs> Here, take the gem. As soon as you place the jewel into the statue's hands, the entire sculpture slides away, leaving a long passageway. I've got the scroll. Okay. All right, this has to be the symbol of malice, who this section must have been built for. This doorway. A safe room. Some more healing juice. Large empty table is the main focus of this room, apparently. Alright. 
It's a big statue guy. A menacing figure stands in front of the doorway, glaring at you. Is this the dreaded malice? Doesn't look like you can pass easily. We must do battle. Sledgehammer. Shovel. Crowbar. Fine. You have finally reached the end of the line. Whatever lies in the next room is well defended and very important to this cursed place. As you step forward, he speaks. I have been waiting for you. Nobody get past me alive. Come and face me, outsider. Fire! Ah! Ah! Fire! Ah! Ooh! Oh yeah! Ha! 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 Okay, I have to hit him when he's swinging. Ah! You duked me. In your face. Listen to me, outsider. You have beaten me, so I must tell you, the Dark Lord, Malice. He has caused all of the restless dead much suffering and torment. I have served him. Uh, please set us all free. All the living dead in these cursed halls defeat Malice. Take this key. The Staff of the Moon and the Divine Shield must be found or you stand no chance. Hurry, find them and put an end to this terrible curse. Will do. Thanks for the key. Uh, I'm actually going to head back. Quickly. We're going to go here. And drink. Drink the juice. Save the game. And it seems like this is a good point to leave it for today. Thank you once again, everyone, for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the game so far. Disaster Squad, you say that that game is terrible, but I am actually quite enjoying it. I think it's actually a very good game. There are, sure, a few little miniature bugs, little miniature issues, but nothing game-breaking. But I am enjoying the story so far and, and the game. I'm very intrigued by the strange glitch man who keeps appearing. <laughs> Maybe that's malice? I don't know. Maybe it's my character seeing things, who knows? Maybe it's all just visions. But until next time, have a happy Halloween, and I will catch you ghoul cats later. <laughs>